In manipulation, manipulators use lie tactics to control or influence people to do their bidding. As someone rightly said, it is a form of aggression, and I can't help but agree. Many use manipulative tactics today in businesses, relationships, marriages. The bottom line is, in manipulation, people use the other person to get what they want. If you are unaware of them, you could fall in easy prey. Let's see some common emotional tactics manipulators use and how to avoid their hold over you. 1. Lie This is one of the most typical and easiest ways an emotional manipulator uses to deceive people. Gaslighters, narcs, and other toxic people are good at lying or changing things quickly for their advantage or when they find themselves in a fix. They will confuse people through an incomplete account of things, give a vague response when questioned, give false claims of their performances, change facts or dates, become offended when caught in an act or are faced with the truth, and omit some vital information you won't find out. They shamelessly lie, see it as an asset and use it against people. Their victims are simple-minded folks and those who are readily believing. 2. Put up aggressive and hostile behaviors when confronted. Manipulators are very sneaky. They never want to be caught in their games. If you are smart enough to get them, they can result in aggression and hostility as a way to divert the accusal from them and shift it on to other people. When confronted, they deflect the attack by putting up aggressive and hostile behaviors, like shouting or raising voices to reply. Reply with caustic words or behave coldly all to justify themselves and bully and intimidate their victims rather than accepting their faults. 3. Avoidance Instead of being caught or taking responsibility or being confronted in their games, they can use the tactics of completely avoiding and purposely denying any misdemeanor. Here are some ways they do this. Conveniently forgetting that there was a problem at hand. Prevent conversations by acting tired, weak, or sad. Skillfully changing the subject whenever you bring up things they aren't comfortable with. Playing the victim card that you are always complaining or always see faults. Purposefully shower you with compliments or distract you when they notice you want to address an issue of concern. Purposely confuse you with facts and planting doubts in your mind. Powered with your knowledge of some of the tactics emotional manipulators use, here are some ways you can stop their hold over you. Recognize your self-worth. If you don't believe in yourself and don't see that you can overcome them, you will give the manipulator a hold over you, and you won't be able to stand firm against their oppressions you must see that you are not a tool to be used for someone's advantage. Once you notice a person's manipulative behavior, it is best to keep a distance, avoid limited contact, and not be caught up in their games. Always probe. It is easy to back down when manipulators confuse you with their lies, schemes, and subtlety. But trust your gut. Once you find yourself not comfortable with a manipulator, if it's worth your time and effort, probe further and do not back down. Ask the relevant questions and make them accountable for their actions. So what's your opinion about this? I hope you enjoyed watching this cool video, and if you have something on your mind, don't hesitate to share your thoughts and experience in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to receive constant notifications. Thanks for watching.